bite, you just notice this fantastic fish. He's wood and his <laughs> eyes are absolutely amazing. Look at this fellow. He would be really good on my fish wall. I don't know if I've shown you my fish wall yet, but uh, that I will have to do. Let's see how much he is. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. I wanted to start this video by sharing one of my favorite thrifted coffee mugs with one of my favorite inspirations. Do more of what makes you happy. And that's exactly what I'm going to do today. So please make sure you're subscribed to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and let's go have some fun. Good morning. Today is a really exciting day. Charleston Antique Mall here in Las Vegas is having their annual Vintage Bazaar. There's going to be vintage shopping, booths, vendors, food and entertainment and we are going down there for a meet and greet. I know there are several of you coming into town from all over. I'm so excited to meet you and my friend Laura Caldwell is also coming down. She and her husband Jesse have been working their way down from Oregon through LA thrifting and picking so I'm excited to see her and hear what they have found. Let's get on the road and I'll see you there. We're getting off the freeway at Jones Boulevard. It's just about five minutes from here. I'm really excited and I am going to try to bring you some really good footage to make you feel like you are here with me. We just pulled into the parking lot. It's very exciting. Lots of people are here already. Vendors tents are set up. I'm not really sure what this person's doing. The Charleston Antique Mall is halfway down this little breezeway here and as you can see there's lots of cars, we've got food trucks, we've got people setting up. It's still quite early, it's just a little bit after 8 in the morning. Lots and lots of people here already, I'm really excited. Let's see who's here. Here is our view walking out of the antique mall. It's very, very busy. I'm going to have to talk loudly over this music. But let's have a walk around and uh, see if we can say hello to some of the vendors here. Vendors have done a fabulous job setting up out here. Look how lovely this looks. Some really fun vintage items in this booth. This is Johanna's booth. She has got good bones. She does 11 shows over the summer. Look at this amazing piece. Oh my word. This is fantastic. Absolutely love that. Look at the birds and llamas. What a wonderful piece. We'll have to ask her what she wants on this. Absolutely love it. The detail and the colors. All sorts of smalls here, lots of littles. Look at the old ribbon, it's fantastic. Oh, this guy's similar to the little Siamese cat I just picked up. And here is a cat. It's a little owl here, look at this. Is it an ornament? He is so sweet. Some grapes, swizzle sticks. And this is a bottle cap dress. How amazing. Look at this.
see what we can find in this lovely booth. Similar items, really lovely vintage pieces. Look at the birds, a pheasant. And what is this fellow? It almost looks like a phoenix. Lots of little smalls here. Oh, look at this pie bird. I love pie birds. They remind me of my grandparents. Let's see what they want on this. Who can mistake this lovely lady? I have spotted her, Miss Laura Coldwell. Let's see if we can say hello to her. Hello, gorgeous friend. How are you? I'm well, how are you? <laughs> Miss so Laura good. Coldwell, everybody. I'm gonna turn you off and say hi. I just noticed this fantastic fish. He's wood and his <laughs> eyes are absolutely amazing. Look at this fellow. He would be really good on my fish wall. I don't know if I've shown you my fish wall yet, but uh, that I will have to do. Let's see how much he is. I love rummaging through smalls. Look at these. Coins. Oh, how funny. This has a shepherd on one side and a cat on the other. Vintage I'm just buttons. Yakking over here. If you have questions, let me know, okay? Thank you so much. All sorts of treasures. This is another amazing table here. Look at the treasures here. I'm seeing a couple of green pieces. I wonder, do you think they glow? Not sure whether this one would. I think this is just a green piece. Little moonstone pieces here. These are lovely. What's this guy? I wonder if this is... No, I think it's just a little Japanese piece, that. What else can we find? Oops. I'm knocking things over down here. Let's keep going. I want to explore every single booth with you. Looks like these tables have some interesting bits on as well. Let's have a look. Good morning. How are you? There's a crystal candy jar. A cruet sadly missing its lid, so we'll leave that some asian dishes i quite like this oil painting we'll think about that some bracelets over here it's an interesting ram i think she's a soap dish lightweight quite contemporary so we'll leave her but over here is a tanala owl this is an old one quite burnished colors muted I like that, the armadillo and the whistles and the little lizard pot. I'll see what she wants for those. When you see a tote of things, always take a minute to flip through, especially if they are old frames. Look at these, some of these, some of these are old, some of them are not. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is I believe it's cruel. It's stitchery, absolutely fabulous. Two uh, beautifully dressed ladies. Let's uh, definitely ask on this one. It's a pretty teacup. This is a more modern piece, I think. It's a print. Oh, 
let's see. It's a little difficult to see in the sun here what we have. More stitchery. More vintage pieces. This one's more modern. This is an old frame. Look at this. It's a little rough shape up here, missing a corner, but that's amazing. And this one. This is a lovely little box of bags. So fun. This is a fun piece but my favorite has to be this look at this it's a woven canvas with beading it's super I'm gonna get this and these two frames here this is an amazing piece of art created out of odd bits of jewelry pins and beads Some amazing jewelry pieces in here, enamel pieces. Some cats. I see a butterfly I want. Can you guess which one? <laughs> This elephant, he's so good. The lady tells me he's a stamp holder. You put your roll of stamps in there and it comes out of his back. He's really amazing. I think he might be missing an eye possibly, but not necessarily. Absolutely love him. Let's do him as well. This booth has some incredible furniture and artwork, really vintage and antique pieces. This chair is fabulous, it's got a little drawer on the side. Frames, oil paintings, just incredible pieces. some amazing furniture pieces I absolutely love this chair and look at these eagle claws I think what are these are they shelf shelf holder they're fantastic I wanted to show you this table because the vendor has done an incredible job with her display. This is a lovely little mushroom plaque for $8 and as you can see its colours tie into everything she's placed around it. Look at this deer up on a pedestal to draw your eye to it and she's got some fun things right at the front as well. Different layers pieces up front inside each other the middle row that is up on risers lots of different pops of color everywhere little figurines on other pieces on boxes adding interest and pieces that are taller and standing up in piles at the back she's also done a lovely job using her floor space as you can see baskets and benches interesting pieces again layered with each other These vintage ceramic Christmas trees sell really, really well for me. So if you see one for a good price, definitely pick it up. What about this gorgeous vintage purse here? It's leather, it unzips like that. It's got a little pocket. 
Let me show you this vintage lining. It's really nice, really classic. And it's roomy without being bulky. Hold on. Look at that. I'll give you another proper look during the haul. That's $50 on that. Super deal. Remember earlier when we saw the green glass pedestal dish that didn't glow? Look at the difference in these. You can see the inner part just fluorescing in the bright sunlight. I am absolutely certain that those will glow under a black light. Look at these little swans, they're so fun. There's four of them, well five and a headless one. <laughs> Duck sweet too. I found a dollar box. Look at this. Everything in here is one dollar. So let's see what we can find. This matches your set over there. Why you got this in here? Uh, it's not mine. That's why I was coming to look at. You want to put that over there with the set? Oh, with this. Oh, it does go with this. Sweet little piece of raku. Let's take this. What's this here? Some bath salts and candles. Little riser. That's fun, I could probably use that at the booth. Hello. Let's go thrifting. Let's go thrifting. Look who I found. Yeah. Everybody's here. We've got Julie from One Way Vintage. Hi, Julie. I don't know how I missed this last time, but look at this incredible macrame owl. The rope looks like feathers. She's so detailed and I love her eyes. We decided to get tacos for lunch. I got chicken tacos, really reasonable. A chicken and onion cilantro, grilled onions and salsa. Really quick and easy and not too much food. Really, really good chicken tacos here, lemon and cilantro, all kinds of goodies. Food going on here, burgers, hot dogs, more vendors. Oh my goodness, all sorts of different things here. So it's getting just a bit warm outside, so I think we are going to make our way indoors. If you would like to purchase an item you see in my haul, please email me at thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Please include your name, your address, the item, and the price I mention. If it's available, I will send you an emailed invoice. Here is what we came home with. I love to take my reusable shopping bags with me, thrifting, garage sailing, and to flea markets. It just cuts down on the waste of plastic bags and uh, you can use them over and over again. Ziggy is here having a look to see what I brought home. <laughs> so let's get these unpacked and take a look. So I just happened to glance out of the window and uh, on the wall here, I don't know if you can see it behind the hummingbird feeder, is a massive lizard. Look at him. There he goes. Here on my table <laughs> is everything we found 
at the Vintage Bazaar, Ziggy is here. I think he must be out of food because he is unusually affectionate. Not that he isn't always. Hello. What's the matter? What's the matter? Are you hungry? Ziggy, you need some food? Stand by. I'm going to go see if he needs some food. Here on my table is everything we found at Charleston Antique Mall's annual Vintage Bazaar. First we have this vintage Al Macrame piece. He's absolutely fantastic. He has a bamboo hanger. The jute rope is so beautifully done and he has um, beads for eyes there. I actually also still have, I don't know if you saw me thrift these quite some time ago, but some vintage beads. Oh, this one just has a little bit of chipping on there, but look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous beads available as well. So if you're interested, hi Bandit, in doing your own macrame piece, I do have this bag of beads and um, rope available. It's got all sorts in here. Got it at Goodwill. I paid $10 for this owl and I am going to ask 25. Right next to the owl, we've got this lovely little pie bird. I really enjoy these. They look fantastic in a group. So if you're looking for something fun to collect, these pie birds are super. They look lovely on a shelf. They don't take up too much room. And some of them are actually worth quite a bit of money. I paid $3 on this one and uh, I am going to ask $15. Next, we have this fantastic little stamp dispenser. It's a trunk up elephant and I originally thought it might be missing its eyes, but that's actually how it is created. It is signed on the bottom here. It's 1985, I think it says Eileen Brass or Brown or Blaine. It's really, really nice. What you do is take out this little drawer, you pop your roll of stamps in there, and then the end of the roll comes up through this slot and dispenses your stamps. That's really, really fun. I paid $8 for this. And I am going to ask $28. Back here, we have our two uh, vintage frames here. Some of you might say, gosh, this is so damaged. Why did you pick it up? As you can see, it's missing some of the finish, the flashing, the um, addition, whatever you'd like to call it on there, the piece that goes over the wood. But for me, that just gives it extra charm, extra history. This is a super old piece. Let me turn it over and show you inside here. The little teeny tiny, are these haypenny nails? I think that's what they're called. And the nails with the really, really old string up top. Look at this piece. I wish I knew how old this was and who made it. Even the glass looks like it's been hand cut and hand filed down. Look at that. It's just an amazing piece. I think I paid $5 for it. And this would look amazing. Just stand it up on a shelf in a display. Uh, several together, just standing up. No need to put anything in it. The beauty is in the frame itself. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then next we have this cruel piece. I don't know if you can see this amazing stitchery on here. These two lovely ladies, they look Victorian. The hairdos and the dresses. And these flowers are actually, let me zoom in for you, little knots there. Look at that. Each one of those little tiny flowers is a knot. And the ladies' dresses are embellished with different stitches. I love this zoom feature. It can really give you the detail of the piece. All the way down, the dresses are stitched. 
It is a gorgeous piece. Again, I paid $5 for this. Let me again turn it over and show you the back. Definitely has some age. The one side of this hanger has been hot glued, it looks like, but you could always, actually it looks pretty substantially fixed. Not very heavy. Definitely an old, old piece. Oh, it's just stunning. I paid $5 for that and I am going to ask uh, $45 to $55 or uh, the highest offer I receive on this piece. Next we have this little grouping of South American items. Bound it this here. Hi B. Hello. Are you hanging out today? Ziggy is here too. <laughs> Hello. First, we have this lovely piece from Costa Rica. It actually says Costa Rica on it. I believe it's a little uh, wall hanging pocket. It has a hole there to hang. And uh, as you can see, it could be used as a vase. Really nice quality piece. It's pottery, quite heavy. Gorgeous little lizard on there and hand carved, hand engraved. Almost like a scraffito where the paint is etched around the design. Lovely, lovely piece. I believe I paid uh, $10, did I, for this grouping? And I am going to ask $28 on this piece. Next, we have these two Peruvian whistles. Really, really nicely painted, hand painted. This one has Coco Pele on it with some beautiful pinks, almost looks like a sunset. And this one has a design similar to this uh, Molo type piece here. Just fantastic colors if you wanted to create a little vignette with these two pieces or even these three pieces it would look fantastic uh, I'm going to ask $18 a piece on the whistles we also have this gorgeous gorgeous Raku here look at that glossy finish iridescent and beautiful the inside is unfinished which adds a lot of interest to the piece absolutely love that and it's signed on the bottom as you can see for this piece i am going to ask 22. next we have a little tanala owl look how sweet he is he has a bird on his back little red bird he is an older piece you can tell by the muted colors he is just gorgeous these ones are getting harder and harder to find in these muted natural tones i am going to ask 25 on him this is just a little riser that i thought would be handy it's cast iron you could also use it as a trivet nice textured top there almost looks like volcanic rock and I would ask 20 on that. Last but not least in this group, our little armadillo. He does have a few teeny tiny chips on him. He is signed on the bottom. Lovely, lovely hand carving there on him. He is just super. I'm going to ask 18 on him. This is exciting. Look at these plates. As you saw in the video, they really, really flourish. You can tell just by looking that they are going to uh, glow under a black light, which I have here, my handy little black light. And let me show you what happens. I'm going to shine the light onto the plates here. And can you see that glow? There is uranium in these plates. What I'm going to do is uh, after this haul, I will pop these into my light box and give you an even better view of the uranium glow of these plates. I got six of them for $20, super, super deal. I am going to ask $12 to $15 a piece. 
over here we have uh, a little poinsettia hot pad or trivet i don't think i showed you this in the video i got it from johanna the same vendor as um, i purchased this piece from i am going to ask 15 dollars on this this is a lovely lovely piece it is a little toiletry bag or a clutch whichever you would like to use it still has its original tag cosmetic clutch there beautiful piece i absolutely love the beading on there and uh, it is a tapestry i don't know if you can see that let me zoom in there look it is woven on the material it needs a bit of a, a lint roll there but look at the beading it's zip closure and uh, it's just one big pouch inside absolutely lovely I'll give you a look inside here. It's black lining, absolutely clean, brand new. I am going to ask $25 on this piece. Next we have our Peruvian style embroidery. It's done in a fantastic chain stitch. Let me zoom in for you. It's wool. And the colors are absolutely amazing. Look at this piece. It would be perfect on the wall. You could hang it, frame it. It's just incredible. I love the llama, with the grasses or cacti. It could be either little clouds. And then below, we've got these birds surrounding this fellow in a fishing boat. The whole piece just tells a story, really lovely. And the edging here all the way around, very South American looking. It just finishes the whole piece, really, really super. I paid $10 for it and I am going to ask 50 to 75. Last but not least, I found some bits of jewelry. First, we have this super Italian mosaic pin. There's the back. This lovely cl uh, cloisonne necklace. It's a geisha girl on there. She is fabulous. There's her back. She is enamel on copper. This one also enamel on metal there, it's a pin. Super cat there, our blingy butterfly. Just a couple of other pins there. This is a really nice vintage one. We have some nice vintage bling jewelry here. Big brooch with big stones. There's the back of that. A couple of elastic pink bracelets. I absolutely love the rhinestones in there. Two of those and this super necklace. All sorts of iridescent crystally beads there. Super duper. I will be taking offers on these brooches. I expect them to bring about 25 between 25 up to 50 to 75 on the older ones there my favorite has to be the cat look at this guy so mid-century modern that one absolutely love it thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed my trip to charleston antique malls second annual vintage bazaar i had so much fun met so many friends thank you to everybody who traveled to come see us uh, at the event it was so much fun if you see anything you're interested in purchasing please shoot me an email thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com please include your name your email your address, the item you're interested in, and your offer. 
And if you have the high offer on an item, I will respond with a PayPal invoice. Please also stay tuned. I am giving you a walkthrough of my vintage booth. Uh, and anything you see on the shelves there, please feel free to email me at the same email address. Send me an offer and I would be happy to invoice you and send the item out to you as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Today we found this amazing set of vintage uranium glass plates. There are six of them. They have this lovely leafy fern pattern, almost like bamboo. I've taken all the inserts out of my light box to cut down on as much reflection as possible. And I am going to turn out the lights for you and show you what these look like under a black light. Stand by. I am in exactly the same position, pointed at the plates in the light box. Are you ready to see how much these glow? Oh my goodness, would you look at that? These have a relatively high concentration of uranium in them and that's what causes them to light up like they are. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me see if I can hold one up for you. Of course, the glow is amplified because there are six of them, but these are just absolutely stunning. Look at that. If you watched the video prior to that one, you would have seen me pick up this children's set of Acro Agate, a little Kramer or individual uh, pitcher here and four little cups, two are yellow and two are orange. Yeah, let me hold it so you can have an idea of size. There we go. I actually found these on separate shelves. I'll pop in a clip after this to show you how I found them. But we're going to do exactly the same thing again with our black light. Stand by. We are pointed in the light box. If you remember, these two cups were yellow and these are orange. Look at those colors. These with the naked eye actually light up orange and pink and these are even deeper pink and purple isn't that amazing let's see what the little picture does the picture is almost a uh, pale blue like an icy blue icy white blue yellow and orange that is so fun we found the little blue jug first in the figurines and then in the kitcheny bits we came across these two sets of little cups one orange one yellow 99 cents per set and i didn't realize at the time that they were part of a tea set but i did catch on uh, that they matched the little blue creamer on our next trip to Goodwill, we are going to take a look and see if by any chance there are more pieces to the set. In this next clip, I will be taking you around the shelves of my vintage booth in the Good Stuff Thrift Store at 1401 North Decatur Boulevard here in Las Vegas. If you see anything you're interested in purchasing, please send me an email, thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Let me know what it is you like. Send me an offer. I can send you an invoice and ship it right to your door.
You got your puppies. <laughs> okay. Too much love, guys. Too much love. 